Early on in this process, I began to grasp what the realities of the business of the arts are in America. I won't rehash for you, the faithful, what all those talking points and statistics are, yet they remain solid, unwavering evidence as to the efficacy of this spending. Indulge me as I name three that I think are worth intoning here this afternoon. The arts create economic activity and produce tax revenue. The nonprofit arts industry generates $166.2 billion annually in economic activity, supports 5.7 million full-time equivalent jobs in the arts and related industries, and returns $12.6 billion in federal income tax fees, measured against direct federal cultural spending of about $1.8 billion. That's a return of nearly 9 to 1. That's a st statistic from... Americans for the Arts in 2007. Number two, the arts are a magnet for local business. I love this one. A strong arts sector is an economic asset that stimulates business activity, attracting companies that want to offer their employees and clients a creative climate and an attractive community with high amenity value. The arts have been shown to be a successful and sustainable strategy for revitalizing rural areas, inner cities, and populations struggling with poverty. Arts organizations purchase goods and services that help local merchants thrive. Arts audiences also spend more than $100 billion, $100 billion on admissions, transportation, food, lodging, and souvenirs that boost local economies, again from the 2007 Americans for the Arts report. I have a 16-year-old daughter, so I'm really, really holding my breath on this one. Art students outperform non-art students on the SAT. Data from the federal government shows that students who take four years of arts and music classes while in high school on average score about 100 points better on their SATs than students who only take one half year or less. This one from the College Board of 2011, a report on college-bound seniors. Generates tax revenues, helps the local economy, creates advantages for our children's academic futures, and those are just three that I've mentioned. Yet every year that I have come down here, it's still a battle. There are more things in the budget of our government that are less deserving of federal funding than anything you will ever find in an NEA appropriation, and many of those are rarely, if ever, threatened. However, here you are again, and I am proud to join you in support of your great work rallying the troops, asserting the facts, making our case.